Have you ever wondered how a nation like Russia prioritizes its spending? Well, it's quite a complex task and a recent example can give us some insights. The Russian parliament just gave the green light to a record budget which has raised some eyebrows due to a significant increase in defense spending. Now, you might be wondering why this is happening. The purpose, it seems, is to fortify the nation's security and reinforce its military prowess. This decision comes at a time when Russia's economy is projected to grow, with GDP expected to rise by 3.2% in 2023. But it's not all smooth sailing. Inflation rates are also predicted to soar, reaching a staggering 28% in the same year. With such a heavy allocation towards defense, one might ask, what about social spending? In a perfect world, social spending would always surpass defense spending. But is that the case in Russia? Let's delve into the numbers. The recent budget approval by the Russian parliament has seen a significant allocation of funds towards defense, a move reflective of the current geopolitical climate. But what about social spending? While the exact figures remain undisclosed, it's clear that defense is a priority. However, it's also worth noting that Russian President Vladimir Putin has recently announced new social support measures. These include one-time payments for elementary and secondary school students, monthly support for single-parent families, and additional aid for low-income pregnant women. The total cost of these pledges is estimated to be around $5.24 billion over two years. These measures signal a recognition of the need to address falling living standards and combat poverty, despite the high defense spending. So while defense spending may surpass social spending, it's clear that social support measures are not an afterthought. While defense is a priority, it seems social support measures are not far behind. But what does this mean for the average Russian citizen? Well, the potential impacts of this gargantuan budget are multifaceted. One could expect some tax changes on the horizon. President Putin has hinted at this possibility, particularly in view of the record corporate sector profits anticipated this year. The government may consider fine-tuning tax legislation based on how these profits are spent. Moreover, the budget includes support measures for families with children and low-income pregnant women. This means a one-time payment for elementary and secondary school students, monthly payments for children from single-parent families, and additional support for pregnant women with low incomes. These provisions are expected to cost the budget around $5.24 billion over two years. However, it's important to note that the Russian economy has contracted by 3% last year, and inflation reached its highest level since 2016. This economic situation presents challenges for the average Russian citizen as falling living standards and rising poverty become more pressing issues. So while defense spending may surpass social spending in the budget, it's clear that social issues are still a key focus for the Russian government. To wrap up our discussion, we've explored the recent approval of the Russian budget with particular attention to the prioritization of defense spending. We've dissected the new social support measures and their potential impacts on the Russian people. It's clear that the allocation of funds reflects a nation standing firm in the face of adversity while attempting to uphold its social commitments. Remember, a nation's budget is more than just numbers. It's a reflection of its priorities and challenges. Thanks for watching.